Hey Capricorn, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys. If it's your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And um, be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Your bonus love reading is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel? So look at your person's energy, their feelings, emotions. What are they not saying? What are they not revealing to you? And what's going on behind the scenes, okay? So let's jump right into your reading, Capricorn. If you want a personal love reading, you can buy a reading on my Etsy shop along with my Tower Orca deck, spiritual jewelry, cheat sheets, all that. All right, let's jump in. Capricorn in love. Capricorn in love. All right, so we have the Four Wands in reverse, the Queen of Cups, and the Four of Swords in reverse, okay? So some of you guys, you are um, you either broken up from someone, there's some kind of disunion. I feel like you guys are not getting along. Okay? It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Aries. There's some kind of break that you're taking from this person, Capricorn, because there's been some challenge. There may have been an argument where you guys are just, you know what, I need a break, okay? I need time to myself. I need to pause. I feel like there's an opportunity where you guys can do some thinking, okay, about this connection, thinking about what you want from it, what your goals are, because I feel like it got to a point where something became very difficult. There was a lot of disharmony, okay, um, between the both of you. Okay, and I'm getting that you guys took a break for peace of mind, or someone here may have decided, you know what, I need, I need a, I need a, I need a pause, right? Um, give me the recent past energy here. Three of Wands came out the death in reverse with the Ace of Swords. So in the recent past, um, Capricorn, I feel like there was definitely some clarity here on a situation, okay, regarding perhaps a Scorpio, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's something here that may have came to light recently. Maybe there was communication or something that you finally found out. And I feel like there was something here where someone has been waiting for you. Someone's been waiting for some change. Maybe you've been waiting on them. There's a waiting energy. Someone's been waiting for some kind of truth or clarity here. Um, but I'm also seeing that there was some kind of new beginning or expectation that if something ended, it wasn't going to be done. Okay. So if you're taking a break from someone here, I don't think this uh, this is someone that is really looking at it as, as a... Uh, um, a long-term break. I'm getting more of a temporary, uh, I need time to think about it before we reconvene, okay? So I do think that there was an ending, but whatever ending, whoever ended it or whatever you guys are doing right now, I don't think it's done. It, the death of us is indicating of something here that it's going to come back to be um, revisited or resurrected, but I'm getting that someone's been waiting. Now, some of you guys are waiting for this person to speak their mind, to speak up, Okay, maybe there's someone who has been holding back truth. Maybe you're looking for answers on a situation because um, you felt this person was holding something from you. Let's see what the energy is. Capricorn, you have the Ten of Pentacles coming out. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse and a Three of Pentacles. So Capricorn, on your mind is definitely long term. I think that you want to invest in the right people, the right situations. And I feel like with regard to this person, I feel like they were not showing to be as committed to you or committed to the connection as you would like them to be. And I'm getting Capricorn, you question, you question if you were, you know, um, if you should be investing in this person, because I feel like you gave all of your time, your energy to this situation, to this person, but I don't think they did the same. I'm getting that they were not doing the same and I feel like you really wanted to come together with this person you really wanted something to work out but I'm getting it came down to your core values your beliefs okay um the way you viewed commitment let's see what this person's energy is Capricorn we have the justice in reverse could be done with the Libra the three of cups came out in the verse the six of pentacles came out the seven of cups and why this is all happening is the world in reverse so I feel like you're dealing with someone, Capricorn, who did not really know what they wanted. I do feel like it could have been some third-party um, interference or influences in this connection. Because I think that this is someone who you may have felt was not giving to you in a fair, just manner. You may have felt like they were giving to other people at the same time. And it brought a lot of confusion. A lot of you guys, Capricorn, you just weren't sure if this person was real, um, you know, genuine. You didn't feel like their intentions were real. Or there's something here that you felt like they weren't taking you serious. I'm getting that you felt this person was playing around with you. 
So I do feel like there is um, an energy of you guys taking a break to really become clear that you guys are on the same path together, right? What you want and what this person wants, especially long term, you know, are the same. Okay, because I don't think that this person really um, may have been sure. Maybe they weren't where you needed them to be at the time. So let's see what the outcome looks like. As far as the outcome, we have the two of wands. We have the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I'm saying that someone may be afraid to commit. Someone has a fear of commitment. I, I'm getting that the energy that someone needs to make a decision. It's time. I'm getting it's time to now make a decision. What are we going to do? How are we going to move forward? Okay, because I'm getting that your person, they've been putting off making this decision regarding a commitment for a very long time. And with the world in reverse, I feel like this is someone that you've been going through many cycles with them. And I'm getting it's a point in time where, okay, we now need to decide what we're going to do and how we're going to move forward. Okay, so I feel like you've been waiting. I think you're the one who's been waiting on this person. And I feel like you may have even taken a step back so that this person can make a decision okay so let's see i do feel a lot of you guys you're in a situation here where if this person isn't making a decision that's it because you've given this person many chances now you feel like this is someone who's perhaps using you or taking advantage of you in some way tell me more about the four of wands in reverse Queen of Pentacles came out in the verse and Ace of Pentacles. I feel a lot of you guys are giving this person an ultimatum. <laughs> it's like either we're going to do this or not. Okay, you're either going to commit to me, we're going to move forward, and we're going to build this future or not. Simple as that. Because I'm getting that's what you want. The Four Wands about harmony, coming together, stability, family. Why is the Four of Swords here? Ace of Wands with the Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like... <laughs> In order to have this new beginning, I feel like someone has to really think about it, right? The Four of Swords, you may be dealing with someone who's like, um, you know, kind of ghosted or maybe they're spending a lot of time reflecting and really thinking about what they really want moving forward because I'm getting that someone here isn't talking. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but they're not talking because they're thinking about, well, how do I want to move forward with you, Capricorn, right? There's a new beginning that's definitely on the horizon for you and this person, but I don't feel like this is someone who's talking, telling you what, what they're going through, telling you how they really feel. So they want this new beginning, but I feel like they need time to really reflect and become crystal clear that this is what they want. Now, give me clarity on the death. In the past, there was a death, okay, that happened, the death in reverse, Scorpio energy, the tower. The tower came out with the four of swords. Again, I just feel like time is up. Time is up because Capricorn, you're at a point in your life where you want stability. You want security. You don't want to play around. And do I, I really feel that it came to a point where a tower could have came, you know, hit, you know, tower could have brought destruction and the connection could have been something you found out with the ace of swords. But whatever this tower is, I feel like it made you guys um, temporary, go separate ways and really think about what you want again the four of swords is the energy of resting regrouping recuperating resting right you know recovering um and healing right some of you guys are healing because of that tower moment and again there was an ending with the death but i also feel like there's someone that is waiting why is the three of wands here yeah, waiting on a reunion, three cups. So I feel like even though there was an ending Capricorn, obviously, you know, you and this person recognize that there's great potential here, right? That this isn't done. And so even though there was an ending or an ending that really that happened, it really shook the connection. Um, I don't think that you both really accepted it as an ending because there was an opportunity for something to re be reborn again, okay? But you guys had not talked about it is what it's telling me. But you both knew that. There's something here that you guys are both crystal clear that even if something is done, it's coming back. Maybe this has happened before, Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Your eye is on the prize, something long-term. Yeah, magician. You guys wanting to manifest stability in your life, right? Commitment, settling down, marriage, family. And the Knight of Pentacles in verse, you felt like this is someone that you were actively giving to, right? Trying to build to this Ten of Pentacles, and they were not. They were not. I'm getting they were dragging their feet. You were manifesting this, and they were dragging their feet, right? And so they were working against you. We have Gemini energy. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. 
Three of Pentacles is clarified by the moon and the Six of Pentacles in verse. I feel like there's just a lot of things that were hidden, right? The moon card. I feel like Capricorn, you feel like you knew this person, but you just, you still question. Do I really know them? Because when it came down to maybe like your values, your beliefs, what things that are really important to you, Capricorn, you felt like you guys, um... <laughs> You felt like maybe you were on the same page, but you still questioned things. Because there were some things you saw in this person, Capricorn, that was like, I wouldn't do the same thing. I wouldn't have done that if I was dumb or, you know what I mean? So I feel like you guys got to a point where you wanted to make sure this person was invested in this connection as much as you were invested, right? The Six of Pentacles in verse. Because you guys questioned if this person was truly, truly ready to get to this relationship the way you were. Okay, so there were a lot of fears, there were a lot of unknowns with the moon card, things that you may have felt was hidden from you. Tell me more about the justice in verse. Some of you guys, they did injustice or was not, you know, um, putting you... Um, putting you first and foremost they weren't making you a priority we do have the three of cups it could have been some interference here tell me more about the justice in reverse with the three of cups we have the temperance in reverse we have the nine of pentacles in reverse with the six of swords in reverse see this is someone who didn't want to let you go but i also feel like you grew impatient okay because it's like what you wanted and what this person wanted were two different things but i also feel like if you <laughs> if you wanted to break away from this connection capricorn i'm getting this is someone who wanted to hold on to you but they also may have wanted to hold on to other people and that's where you guys decided you know you grew very impatient and you 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 felt like this isn't something that you wanted to wait for so i do feel a lot of you guys you had to pull back you had to take your energy back you had to um manifest what you wanted with this person in order to get what you need. Now, why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is this person so confused? Seven of Cups clarified by the Seven of Cups, the Chariot in reverse with the Three of Pentacles. Again, I feel like your person was confused because there was other people in the mix that brought confusion to the situation. And I feel like that's why they weren't ready to move forward with full force, right? The Chariot in reverse. That's why there was some hesitancy because this is someone who may have had distractions, distracted by other people, third parties, and they wasn't really sure if they really wanted to give wholeheartedly to this connection. So I do feel like as a result, there's been many cycles. This person had to repeat because I'm getting that they were not ready. They were not ready. So you had to constantly go back and repeat things over and over and over until this person finally made a decision. Now, tell me more about the two wands. There was a decision that has to be made in the outcome um, because someone's been, again, indecisive. Two wands is clarified by the two of pentacles in reverse with the justice. Someone is finally having to bring balance and reciprocity to the connection by giving up something. There's a sacrifice that's being made here. Now, Capricorn, this could be your person. Um, you have justice card it could be a libra someone has been going back and forth juggling playing around but now something has to give and i feel that someone is finally letting go of a situation or something here that has been creating distractions and putting this connection on hold okay and tell me more clarity on uh, the queen of pentacles and verse with the hierophant Hierophant, it's all clarified by the full universe and the eight of swords so i feel like the reason why this person couldn't commit partially was because this is someone who wasn't thinking about their future okay the full card came out the verse could be an aries this is someone who wasn't thinking about long term they were living in the present very being very foolish being very reckless but we also have someone who had trust issues so some of you guys they didn't want to commit right off the bat because they didn't trust love they didn't trust people some of you guys they didn't trust you capricorn okay simple as that don't take it personal but i'm also saying this is someone who's been in their head about it so it's not that they didn't want to commit to you capricorn i'm getting the energy this is someone who may have had a real fear of commitment here with the eight of pentacles they um thought the worst about commitment they thought um it wasn't for them they thought commitment destroyed people marriages destroyed people they felt like it would be the ultimate sacrifice that would bring some kind of destruction to their life you know they didn't have a really good positive outlook on commitment so that is what i'm seeing here but i do see this is someone who's ready to drop something okay coming into the moment in order to bring justice to a situation here and i do feel like capricorn it's justice for you right there's some kind of injustices they've done in the past but now we have the justice coming out in the upright so now there's something that's turning and moving in your favor okay so it's something that you're wanting so capricorn that is what i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed your reading and i wish you all the best again your bonus reading is up on vimeo how does your person feel so check it out if you're interested all right you guys take care bye